Hi, I'm Beverly Claridge. Welcome to my studio. We're on the fifth session of creating Red Playground. Finish what you started. That's the working title. If you have any suggestions for um, a better title, please let me know in the comments. The last session I worked on the right side of the diptych. What started out as rather tepid in some places suddenly took a very bold turn. Today we're working on the left side. The left side now needs to respond to what transpired in, on the right side. We're going to start out using a 0.7 pigment ink pen. Uh, no, I want to honor the integrity of my original mark making. I'm also honoring some of the mistakes I made right there and there. And one of my tenets of this era of experimentation for me is to not get too involved with the idea of making a mistake. Not too. One of the differences between this particular piece and the ones I have done, Can Red Come Out to Play, and then I did, I did Wabi Sabi. In those pieces, it's like I almost emphasized every little variation from what was originally intended. During that period, I would have outlined all of this. If I continue doing the Red Playground series, I, I may try doing that on one of them. You can look at the start of my journey into abstraction on my website. I'll put the link in the description. I so much like what has happened between the red ink tints and the yellow ink tints that I really just kind of want to let it shine through. Now, I'm actually going to use my very bold chisel pen. I'm actually going to continue this, this, and this manner. I'm going to mimic what I did over here. On this one, I made sort of an error by right there. Sometimes the key to art is making things intentional looking. There's a place where a little bit of the yellow ink tints got outside of my intended circle. So I just thought it would look nice to go ahead and make little circles in there. Otherwise you can't really see the yellow, but by making circles in there and sort of outlining that area, it emphasizes yellow. And on my mother's pearl necklace part, I'm actually leaving vestiges of the graphite. I just love how there, it's almost a translucent uh, blue over all those beautiful red marks there. ready to go into the bottom right. When I outline this, I'm going to do the whole semicircle at once. I may have to reconsider whether I want Bella in the studio because she does snore, I forgot about that. Polly didn't snore, if you missed the previous session. We actually lost Polly, which is Bella's friend. She was, she was 20 years old. We lost her on Valentine's Day. So we all are getting used to life without Polly and that's been especially trying for Bella. Right here is a mark from the fold and the paper, and I'm actually purposefully not drawing right on top of it because I want there to be a little bit of a conflict there. It acknowledges the line, but it's not following it. about halfway and then I will draw the outline of the circle. I'm standing here trying to decide if I want to embolden these pointers here on the left lower just like I did on the right side but then that raises another issue or two. One is that if I embolden this, these pointers, would I have to embolden those or maybe I just do one or two. I think I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, uh, use my marker. It doesn't quite fit what's go with what's going on the left side so we're going to go ahead and very carefully embolden this. That looks a lot better actually. Another point of tension is right there where that tip just meets the outside of that circular object there. I do the same thing up here. Just by the very nature of what's happening here, this is sort of a, a conflict piece, if you will. These angles coming in are rather confronting. Mm -hmm. 
I'm actually of a divided opinion if I do the right thing in emboldening those, but I've done it already and now I need to make sure that uh, it is successful. Now I'm going to add the third media. I'm bringing out my stash of colored pencil and my trusty dusty automatic pencil sharpener. Highly recommend that. And now I get to embellish this. This is a lot of fun. It's an experiment. I like to mix in a little bit of aerial perspective. I'm intensifying a sense of form with the colored pencil. One of the things that I'm doing is ever so slightly lightening right before we get to the to the edge of the circle just to give a sense of reflective light. Suppose it's just a tiny bit of my realistic practice creeping into my abstract. I kind of like that actually. That was my left side. Now I'm going to come over back over to the right side because as you can see I've got them together and I'm comparing them. So I'm going to use my deep vermilion which is sort of a red orange and I'm actually going to do just some playing just to see what happens. I don't want to mess up the loveliness that's going on here but again I do want to give it a sense of form. Also, there's a lovely interaction between the, the red and the yellow on this. Actually what I think I'll do is find my yellow. <laughs> This is a sun yellow. Can you see where it's sort of getting a, a sense of a, a form there? I hope my camera is sensitive enough where you can see that. At, at this point, I'm actually putting a little bit of yellow, and hopefully it won't turn green, um, on here as if it's reflecting the light that's coming from within those pointers. Just a little bit. It gives it sort of a 3D effect. And we'll put just a few here. I put away my colored pencil. Oops, except for this one, I'll put stick that over there. My aim is to get 52 done, so I gotta find a place to sign it. I've signed it on both sides. I'm happy with it. There are aspects I, I like about it, and there's aspects I dislike about it. Now there's the original. The original is called Can Red Come Out to Play Number 7. And here's the new ones. And these are called Red Playground, Finish What You Started. This is a work that was started in July of last year, and now it's finished. I welcome all comments, positive, negative, in between, and any questions. One of the ways that I can be sure that I don't go back and fuss with this is spray it. I got some National Art Matte Spray, permanent matte protection. That's one of the things I love about Art Spray. It has a tendency to really to bring it together. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time.